Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. And today I am going to look in on my worm chow only bin. Now there's been some discussion back and forth on what's better. Should we feed it dry or should we mix it in water and feed it to them that way? Um, so that is what we're going to do for this feeding of the worm chow bin. So first what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at them and see how they're doing and see if there's any sort of... Uh, anything we need to adjust here. Now because I've just been feeding on the top, I've just been sprinkling it on the top, there shouldn't be any worm ball. Wah wah. Sorry. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the moisture is homogenous, that the moisture is the same all the way through the bin, and it is pretty damp for what I'm used to. But the weather is getting warmer here, and these guys are happy. Now, what I'm seeing here are a lot of juvenile worms, probably were born this winter, but we also have a good amount of adult worms that have their clitellums already showing. So we've got a breeding population here, and what we were doing, what the purpose of this bin was to do, to see if feeding worm chow would bulk them up and make them maybe a little bit bigger for fishing season. So that's what we're doing today. So I've looked at the bin, and it looks pretty much the same all the way throughout. I don't see any problems anywhere. So I think that it's safe to go ahead and feed. There's no residual food any place. This bin just has my normal um, prepared bedding that's made out of coconut coir, shredded paper and cardboard, and grit, um, also a little bit of kelp meal. So, what we're going to do here is I've got my worm chow that's already prepared. Now, this is the new version that includes the um, bird seed that's ground in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed half of the feeding on one side, dry, and then I'm going to feed the other side as a paste. So, my normal feedings are about two handfuls. So, I'm going to take one handful and about a half a cup of water over here. And then I'm going to take one handful and I'm going to spread it over this side here. And that's kind of, that's kind of half, right? Just kind of right down the middle here. And kind of like maybe a little dent here so I can tell the difference. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to try and evenly drizzle it over the top of the, the other side here. Now it's not coming out completely, but I think you get the idea. So this chow will have already been added to water, and this is relying on the water that is just in the bedding itself. And I put the paste tomato marker where I'm feeding the paste. That way I'll remember. And then I'm going to cover it up with the normal bubble wrap so that it can preserve the moisture in it. So this whole bin does have its own playlist. Um, so I will link that at the end here. If you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.